everyone, this is Sister Roland, and all I need is a few minutes to talk about Nicki Minaj getting arrested in Amsterdam, even though I believe she is, she has been released, but this is how it went down. And after the security said, oh, those pre-rolls are his, they're telling me I have to go to the police precinct. So this is one of the reasons why they stopped them because the amount of contraband that they had was probably over the legal limit. But why is a security guard traveling with a celebrity and you have that much of contraband on you? That's very irresponsible in my opinion. And let's not forget people that work for celebrities, sometimes when the celebrity gets in trouble, that person may end up taking the charge for them because, you know, they'll, they will be compensated very well when they, you know, I guess get probation, get parole, maybe take, go to prison. They will get compensated. Where am I going? For what? For what? Why, why am I going here? Hello? Yeah. You're under arrest. I'm the police officer. I'm the deputy of the public prosecutor. Uh, we will bring you to the police station. What? Yes. For what? You can go uh, because you are uh, carrying drugs. I'm not carrying drugs. Okay, but it's not a question here. Uh, I think it's. I'm not smart carrying to go drugs. Inside. The okay, can go inside. No, I'm not going in there. I need a lawyer present. You will get a lawyer. Just no, I need a lawyer present now. Okay, please. Where am I going? I have no idea where you I'm going. You have to go to the police station. Where, what, how, what address is that? It's five minutes away. Uh, it's five minutes away. What's... What I'm not understanding is the police giving her several lawful commands to enter into the van. And she is refusing because she doesn't have a lawyer. She needs to know the address. Maybe they're not giving you the address because they know you have fans. And they may not want your fans to show up at the pre precinct. Or the police station while you're being processed so that they don't need any distraction but they telling her to get in and she's refusing to get in all the while still have her phone in her hand if that was the states you know your phone would have been confiscated just step in the car and we'll go as fast as possible and who's going in the in this in this vehicle so please step he will go with you as you can see she has been detained arrested whatever you want to say and she's still able to record the problem with that is Whenever celebrities or somebody with influence do certain things, these things have a domino effect, especially when that celebrity or influential person have ardent admirers, which are fans. Because sometimes the fans think they could do the same thing and expect the same results, which is not so. Because most of the time when celebrities do these things and they get away with it, Somebody else is going to pay for it. Somebody else, a few people, two people, three black women is going to pay for that. They end up not paying. It's like a sacrifice in a sense, you know. They end up not paying and then somebody else ends up paying for what they did. What they couldn't do to her because of her status, they're going to do to somebody else that may, may want to try this. I may not even want to try it, but the fact that, you know, she got away with it, we're going to make you pay. And that's the vicious cycle. And then another thing with these celebrities nowadays, some stuff, I just believe, you know, they just want to, they have something new coming out. They have a new CD, they have a new project, they have a new book, and they need to drum up some drama, some traction for their project. And then they get into these altercations. That's why a lot of these things... I just don't believe any of them anyway. Nothing is as it seems on this internet. Anyway, that's all I had to say about the situation. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.